Hello students, today let us see how to calculate the number of sigma and pi bonds given in an organic uh, structural formula. There is a simple trick to calculate the number of sigma and pi bonds, a simple formula by using that without drawing the entire structure we can calculate the number of sigma and pi bonds. For example, if we take butane, if we take butane without drawing the entire structure we can calculate the number of sigma and pi bonds. Number of sigma bonds, number of sigma bonds can be calculated by using the formula number of carbon atoms Nc minus 1. Nc is the number of carbon atoms given in a structure plus number of hydrogen atoms. This is a simple formula. In this given example 1, 2, 3, 4, there are 4 carbon atoms minus 1 plus number of hydrogens 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3, totally 10. 4 minus 1, 3 plus 10, 13 sigma bonds are present in the given structure. Now let us draw the entire expanded structure of this one and find out whether it is correct or not. C, 4 carbon atoms and H, all the hydrogen atoms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen sigma bonds are present. So, by using this formula, we can easily get the number of sigma bonds. This is for alkanes. In case of alkenes and alkynes, we have to calculate the number of pi bonds also. Let us see an example for that also here. If we draw the alkene. 2 butene, it is 2 butene. Number of sigma bonds, number of sigma bonds formula is same. It is number of carbon atoms minus 1 plus number of hydrogen atoms 4 minus 1 plus number of hydrogen atoms 3 plus 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it is 3 plus 8, 11 sigma bonds present in this structure and number of pi bonds, number of pi bonds is equal to number of double bonds, number of double bonds present in a given structure because each double bond consists of a single pi bond, each double bond consists of one sigma and pi bond. So, each double bond consists of only one pi bond. So, it is equal to number of pi bonds is equal to number of double bonds. Here it is only one pi bond. Now, let us see how many sigma bonds whether it is correct or not. Let us see. These are all hydrogen atoms. H 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 sigma bonds and 1 pi bond. Okay, students, it is very, very easy formula to calculate the number of sigma and pi bonds in a given structure. If we take an, if we take an alkyne, if we take an alkyne CH, CH2, C triple bond CH, number of sigma bonds is equal to number of carbon atoms minus 1 plus number of hydrogen atoms 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 minus 1 plus number of hydrogen atoms in this case 3 plus 2, 5, 6, 6. So, it is 3 plus 6, 9 sigma bonds and number of pi bonds in case of alkynes, number of pi bonds is equal to double the number of triple bonds. 2 into number of number of triple bonds present in a given structure because each triple bond consists of 2 pi bonds. So, here it is only 1. 
So 2 into 1, 2 pi bonds are present in the given structure. Right students? By using this, we can easily find out the number of sigma and pi bonds in a given structure without drawing the entire expanded structure. Right students? This is the case with simple alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. In the next video, we will see how to calculate the number of sigma and pi bonds in the substituted and functional grouping alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. That is the structures having the different functional groups and substituents. Right students? I hope this video is very helpful for the students who are writing the entrance examinations. This type of questions generally comes in the NEET examination. Right students?